What's up guys, it's Michael and Yannick over here from Calisthenics Family. Welcome to this informational video. If you want to start with calisthenics but you don't know how, then this video might be very helpful for you. Why? Because in this video we are going to explain three different topics that are really important to know if you want to start with calisthenics and we're also going to explain uh, the routine that we did in the beginning and we're going to tell you why you should uh, try this routine as well. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so today we are making this video because recently we got overwhelmed with a lot of comments on a recent body transformation video. Um, if you haven't seen that video, then we suggest you to check that one out first. Uh, you can click on the link here in the corner and then we can move on to this video. Alright, so today first we will start with the three really important topics that you should know if you want to start with calisthenics. And at the end of the video, we will also give you a routine that you can use for yourself if you want to start with calisthenics or bodyweight training in general. But before we get into this video, please consider to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. And also don't forget to like this video if you find this video helpful. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right guys, so the first topic also our advice to you guys is to master the bodyweight basics first. With the basics, we mean the exercises such as the push-ups, the pull-ups and the dips. Before you start with calisthenics, it is essential that you master the basics first. But before we get more into this topic, we consider two different groups that are watching this video right now. The first group are people that have never actually trained before. For example, the people that are quite young, let's say 14 years or younger, or people that just never got into sports and want to make a change now. For those people, it is so important to work on a solid bodyweight strength foundation before you will get into harder stuff. Because if you don't, chances of injuries are really, really big. Also, if you find yourself having overweight, probably due to a lack of training experience, it is so much more efficient and logical to start training with your own body weight to burn off those calories. Why? Because it's so much easier to create an effective high intensity workout for the people that have overweight than instead letting them do low intensity gym exercises on a machine, for example. Another reason why we think it's important why you should master the basics is because it's the more natural way. Why should you train with extra weights if you can't even train with your own body weight just yet? Just think about it. So in short, start and master the basic body weight exercises first. Why? To prevent injuries, to lose overall body fat quicker and because it's the more natural way to train. First body weight, then extra weights. All right, so these were our recommendations for the first group for the people that don't have any experience, training experience just yet. Then for the second group, the people that already have some kind of training experience, for example, people that are going to the gym or doing any other sports, we actually belong to this group as well because when we started with calisthenics, we also went to the gym before. From our experience, we learned that it's still super important to get back to the bodyweight basic exercises Although you might think that you already are pretty strong. Why? Because form, technique and execution of the exercise can always be improved. Especially for this group that probably does push-ups or pull-ups with half range of motion just like we did in the beginning. And that's exactly what we don't want with calisthenics. We try to do every repetition as clean and strict as possible so you will get strong in the full range of motion of the exercise which will be really really essential in the later stadium uh, when you're doing calisthenics if you want to work up to exercises like a muscle up, a handstand push up or other advanced exercises. Alright guys, so let's talk about the goals that you should strive for uh, with the basic bodyweight exercises before you get into the more advanced calisthenics exercises. The goals that you should strive for are a minimum of 10 strict form pull-ups, 15 strict form dips and also 20 strict form push-ups. If you can't do these yet, there's no reason to work on harder exercises such as the muscle-up, a back lever, for a handstand push-up or anything else. Alright, so that was all about the first topic. Now let's move on to the second topic and also our advice to you as a beginner is to work on a really, really strong core. Why? Because with calisthenics or bodyweight training, the core is always involved. 
There's just no way to neglect the core in any bodyweight exercise. We will give you a short example. Just look at the push-up and the bench press for example. With the bench press you just lay down on the bench and kinda deactivate your core and only give power with your shoulders, arms and chest. While in a push-up the core is really active because it needs to hold up the entire body. This small comparison is just a quick example how bodyweight training works and why the core is always involved. Just a quick fun fact, when I personally did 110 push-ups in a row and when I fell on the ground it was actually not my uh, arms, shoulders and chest that gave up but it was my core. I couldn't hold it to stay in a plank position anymore and that's why I fell on the ground. So this is the ultimate proof why the core is so important and should be trained very very hard with calisthenics or bodyweight training. But of course guys the push up example is still a relatively easy exercise that doesn't need much core strength. But if you really want to get into the more advanced skills like a front lever or a back lever or even a planche or a human flag then a strong core is really really essential. Why? Because with these kind of exercises the feet are not grounded on the floor anymore just like with the push up but they are actually in the air. So you can already imagine how much core strength is required to keep those legs up in the air, right? So that leads us to the next tip which is don't train for a six pack, don't train the abs but train for a really strong core guys. We see so many people that want to get a six pack and start training their abs by doing these kind of gym exercises like those exercises with a dumbbell on the side, uh, cable sit ups and of course you can make uh, get a six pack with these exercises but they will just not give you the core strength that is required for calisthenics exercises that you might want to learn. So instead of doing these kind of ab exercises please start doing exercises like leg raises, toes to bars, hollow body holds, superman holds, elbow planks, side elbow planks and if you do these exercises guys in combination with the compound bodyweight exercises we promise you that six pack will definitely come. So what are the goals that we recommend you guys to strive for with the core? Well we always say strive at least for a one minute elbow plank, a one minute hollow body hold and also 10 leg raises if you want to work up to more advanced skills such as a back lever for example. Alright guys, so that was all about the second subject, why you should strive for a really strong core. And now we're going to move on to the next subject and our next advice. And that is that you should uh, work on your flexibility and mobility if you are a beginner calisthenics athlete. Why? If you don't have any training experience, you probably have tight muscles such as tight hamstrings for example. But also people that do have training experience, for example the people that go to the gym, often have even more stiff muscles and joints due to all the isolation work and not stretching the muscles after a good gym session. Immobile shoulders are very very common with this group of people. It was the same uh, like us when we started with calisthenics and only had gym experience. But first let's have a closer look to flexibility. What is it and why do you need it as a beginner calisthenics athlete? Flexibility is the amount of stretch that you can get in the muscle also called the muscle length. With calisthenics a large muscle length or flexibility is essential for certain exercises for example a handstand or a back lever which requires hamstring flexibilities to straighten out the legs. And secondly mobility. What is it and why do you need it as a beginner calisthenics athlete? Mobility is the movement capacity of the joints so it tells you how far a bone can move in a certain direction. So the more mobile the joint is, the further the bone can move. A large mobility is essential for calisthenics because you ask your body to move in unknown positions. For example, think of a skinny cat where your complete body hangs upside down on your shoulder capsule. So working on flexibility and mobility is really important because it just helps you to move better which is so important with calisthenics. And next to that it also prevents injuries. Alright guys, so that was all about the first three topics that are really important to know if you want to start with calisthenics. First of all, working on basic bodyweight strength. Secondly, working on a really, really strong core. And at last, working on and increasing your mobility and flexibility. So now, what kind of routine should you do if you want to implement all these three aspects in a weekly workout routine? Well, there are endless possibilities that you can think of and also what we have tried. 
Consider for example a split routine where you train each muscle group separately or a push-pull leg routine or an upper or lower body routine. However, from our own training experience, we noticed that a routine that works with a sequence of one training day and one recovery day works best for calisthenics. Why? Because with calisthenics, you always train multiple muscles at the same time, because it's a functional way of training. And we also know that the body needs at least 48 hours to rest to uh, recover in the most optimal way. So therefore, we created this own routine for ourselves like two years ago and that is exactly what we recommend you to do the same. So let's have a closer look to the actual routine. The first day you focus on the basic bodyweight strength. It is your strength training day. Then the second day you focus on the core and flexibility. For example, forward folding and back bending. Then the next day, day three, your muscles should be recovered from the first day so you can work on the basics again. Then day four, you can work on the core and the flexibility and mobility again. And then on day six, you can uh, work on the basic body strength again. So in total, you will be training the basic body weight strength for three times in a week, which is more than enough if you want to start with calisthenics. And like we said, guys, we tried so many different routines and this routine was just a routine that works best for us and that we still do. Uh, mainly, I think also because if you work on a sequence with one day like a strength training day it is also mentally easier to fully focus one day on one strength training day and then the next day you focus on more the core recovery flexibility and mobility and then the next day you are just completely ready for the next strength training day so that is what we do we don't say that this is the best routine but this is just what we do and that we advise you to do the same all right guys so that was it about this video uh, we actually made a free calisthenics ebook uh, which you can find all this information that we just discussed in this video again you can just easily uh, read it and um, there's so much more information in this free ebook uh, for example about nutrition uh, different training principles and also uh, the workout routines that we shared today and other routines just laid out for you that you can just easily uh, implement for yourself so definitely make sure to check that one out. Uh, you can find the link down here in the description. It's the first link. You can just download it and it is free. So that was it about this video. We hope that you like this video. And if you find it informational or helpful for you, please, please like this video and subscribe for new videos in the future. And that was it guys. Peace out. Peace out guys. All right guys, first of all, thanks for watching this video. And one important thing, one update that we want to make, we are currently organizing a calisthenics fitness retreat. And one really cool update is that we are going to organize this together with Stan Brownie. He is going to join us and organize this retreat. Uh, the retreat is basically four days with us and Stan Brownie of working out, workshops, classes, of course, enjoying at the beach. Uh, doing some cool activities as well and it is actually for a really really good deal now we don't make any profit out of this anymore so if you're interested in this just check the link in the description and hopefully you can come with us and have a really really good time uh, with us in a pizza so that was it and we'll check you in the next video guys peace out peace out